This is Jeffrey Aaron. We spoke to Oliver Evans, Executive Vice President, Swiss World Cargo in New York. Mr. Evans leads a spirited team of cargo experts who are carrying the term Swiss efficient to new heights while offering a varied menu of specialized air cargo products serving a growing number of world clients. Mr. Evans views the current market as offering opportunities to further develop new friends for Swiss World, especially in the highly specialized movement of pharmaceuticals plus high value and time sensitive shipments. Talk about good timing. The airline from the land of the watches expanded its routes into India, flying to New Delhi and also to Shanghai, China earlier this year. Now while others are struggling in a challenged world economy, Swiss has added capacity and market share, experiencing handsome increases in its overall business. Mr. Evans, if there was one thing you could change about air cargo, what would it be? I would get air cargo to, to uh, move with a century. Uh, it's a, an industry which is still carrying far too much baggage from, from the past, uh, carrying far too much weight of inefficiency. Uh, data integrity is still a dream, it's not a reality, and the data that is transmitted uh, is all too often on paper, and even when it is transmitted electronically, uh, we find that there are mistakes and, and corrections because there, are, there is a lack of standards, uh, a lack of integrity once again. And this is what the industry has to tackle. This is the cost of non-quality, which we're all bearing, uh, and which ends up making air freight a, a very expensive mode of transport. Um, our customers deserve better than that, and this is what we should strive to, to change in 2009 and 2010. Can you tell me, sir, how, how you view the uh, e-freight initiative of IATA? I think it's been a, 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 a Fresh, uh, a breath of fresh air in the industry. Uh, we've seen a lot of progress under the, the leadership of Alex Popovich and, and, and IATA, uh, and uh, a, a rapid implementation of a number of pilots. But these pilots will be still born uh, until there is a, a critical mass in the industry where we can all say, okay, now we, there are enough key players uh, able to implement e-freight in, in a broad sense on, on uh, the key traffic lanes and that's when the, the benefits of e-freight will begin to, to pay off, that's when we will see the, the, the costs being eliminated um, and certainly a number of airlines, a certain number of players may be left behind uh, but the vast majority of the industry will then be able to benefit but it has to be an industry uh, movement, uh, any individual company which is ready on its own uh, cannot implement e-freight, uh, it is a an industry uh, standard which is required together with suppliers, together with partners, together with customers uh, and that's the opportunity that lies ahead of us. Can you tell me sir that, that, uh, that Swiss was able to make such a remarkable turnaround and reestablish itself? You went through that entire period of time. In your own words sir, how did that happen? How did Swiss make this recovery? And will it, and sir, will it be maintained even though this, the uh, economies are getting a little bit tough now and are expected to be down in 2009. Tough times can be enormously beneficial to, to an enterprise and that was exactly the case with us. Uh, Swiss was created in, in 2002 uh, in, in tough times uh, and we had a, a team of people that we inherited from the former Swiss Air, a very experienced team of people uh, who knew exactly what, what to do and, and how to deal with the customers how to use the IT infrastructure that we had um, and these people were already providing a, a quality service to our customers. Uh, this is the team that I joined at the end of 2002 and together we established a, a strategy, we identified the strengths and the unique opportunities that we had. We realized that we had absolutely no advantage uh, in trying to, to uh, enter into the freighter business for instance. There are no natural consolidation centers uh, in Switzerland, the main consolidation centers in, in Europe are in Luxembourg or Frankfurt or Amsterdam. Uh, Switzerland is a, an expensive country. It is a country where the airports have certain uh, natural limitations, uh, no nighttime operations, uh, trucking bans at weekends, etc. Uh, on the other hand, uh, this same infrastructure is able to deliver a level of quality which is exceptional. Um, and we use that, that uh, quality, especially for shipments that require extra care, 
whether it is small shipments, express shipments, dangerous goods, valuables, temperature control business, etc. For all these types of markets where customers have an extra need uh, for the, the, the care and, and understanding on the part of their suppliers, we can deliver that service and we can deliver it with, a, with reliability uh, and at a competitive price. And we focused on, on this business model. Uh, we have stuck to that strategy. We have been consistent. Um, and our reputation has, has gone forward in, in leaps and bounds. And that has been the, the secret uh, that has led to, to the results of today. If you'd like further information on developing air cargo topics, go to www.aircargonews.com. If you'd like a free subscription to Air Cargo News and to our thrice weekly publication, Flying Typers, write to me, Jeffrey, at aircargonews.com. In the meantime, thanks for watching and keep them flying.